Hi guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. Hello. We've got an exciting one today. Yeah. So we've just driven to Ashdown Forest and we're going to do the Poo Corner route. Yeah, so Ashdown Forest, it was the inspiration for A.A. Milne. He actually saw his son Christopher Robin play in Ashdown Forest and then ended up in uh, Winnie the Pooh. So this is like the actual 100 acre woods yeah. and they have like the poo bridge where you can play poo sticks and like lots of other little bits along the way. Um, I came here as a child um, years and years and years ago so I, I kind of have vague memories of it but I can't remember it exactly so I'm really excited because as you know Winnie the Pooh is my absolute favourite. Mm -hmm. Like I was obsessed, obsessed with Winnie the Pooh when I was a child, and yeah, I'm still obsessed with him now. So, so cool. Uh, <laughs> it is quite hard to find though. Um, We've been using suitcaseandsandcastles.com, I think it's a blog, yeah. and um, they've written quite clear instructions actually yeah. how to get to this certain car park. 40 car parks. Yeah, we it's a lot Piglet's bigger than we first. thought. <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be a cosy vlog, so grab a nice cup of tea and come explore the 100 acre wood with us. Need my wellies. So guys, I'm literally Winnie the Pooh because I've brought some snacks. <laughs> 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 it's a time for a snack. <laughs> so we're having some fruit pastels as we walk. <laughs> but we've literally just entered the forest and yeah, we are walking down. I'll show you. Wow, look at the light. Oh, it's just so pretty. So we hope we're going the right way. On the blog, it said just to head straight and it's quite obvious. So this kind of looks like the obvious path. We need sticks for, for the bridge. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I'm ready. That will just win though because it will stretch as far as the bridge. <laughs> ah, you're gonna hit me. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> He's oh, found wow. some tree stubs to play on. What's oh, wrong? Oh, is it? <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall. You will get really muddy. <laughs> oh, I'm frightened. <laughs> but conquering your fears though, isn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Yay. I did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that bit, you did jump down on that bit. Is it really? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the camera! <laughs> it's really nerve wracking when you get to that top bit. Oh my gosh. This is for like children, but I'm terrified. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it feels like you've got a really long way to I'm fall. It's a bit like far. <laughs> my wellies are a bit too Well, yeah, my wellies are too big for my feet, so that was another worry. This is it. This is where it gets a bit scary. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you doubt yourself. <laughs> yeah. Don't jump. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so the instructions that we're going off of, it said these were on the right and then to keep going. Yeah, and then apparently we're looking for Owl's house next. <laughs> but it's gonna be high up, isn't it? We're getting closer. Bridge this way. So I might have to zoom in but if you look really really closely there's Owl's house. I'm gonna jump onto this boulder <laughs> oh. and it says instructions on the door. Let's zoom in. Please knock if answer is not reached. Can you make it out? I can't see him there. So that writing was very small and obviously <laughs> Owl He's not the best at spelling, so <laughs> I was trying to make out what it says. We need to research what's on his front door, I yeah. can't remember. Did you get it? I think it definitely says, please knock if answer is not, and then I couldn't make out the last bit. Yeah. This I think reach. is so nice, isn't it? It is. It's really peaceful. There's nobody at the moment, but I can hear voices and cheering, so... I can hear so some, yeah. I think the, the bridge is a popular spot. <laughs> <laughs> so this one made us think that this was it, but it's not, I don't think, because there's... There's not enough water to pay There's a sign that says bridge this way. <laughs> or it says P bridge. <laughs> Official title. I have my first stick. 
and Helena's got hers too. So yours is a bit Mine's thicker a bit than mine. It's shorter as well. And shorter. Alright. We'll see who wins. <laughs> I've got my three sticks for a best of oh, three. Wow, they're quite similar. They are quite similar. You need one, one more. There's a one, but it's no, very thin. I want a bigger one. Oh no, did I just get mad on my face? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this looks like some sort of weird wolverine claw. <laughs> Here it is. Poo bridge. Make sure you pack your wellies. This is it. Poo Bridge. Welcome to Poo Bridge. Made famous by the AA Mill stories featuring Winnie the Pooh and other animal characters. It was rebuilt in 1999. Use only poo sticks brought with you. <laughs> Don't damage trees by removing twigs. We didn't do that. I've only got two though. You need another one. So we've got to go with the current. Yeah. So the current's going from this side. So mine's this big one here. And mine's this one. Right, so one. we're dropping them in three. here in the middle. One, two, three. Run! Oh, oh I just attacked you by the twig. Sorry. That's oh, that's mine. That's yours. Where's yours? Where's mine? Unless yours went first. Oh, there it is. Behind it. Is it? I think I saw it. Okay, that's there one to is. me. See? It's like curving. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I attacked you with my twig. <laughs> it's because I've got I've got this in my hand and it's too long. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't drop the camera. In. Oh, there's one. Is that Where? one? That's yours, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's mine. That's mine. Oh no, it's too long. Yeah. Look, it's struggling. It's hitting the bottom. It's fine. It's already over there. Yours is away. Right. That's one's oh, each. Oh no, one all. I need new. You need new though. stick. Oh, can I change this then? Can I half it? <laughs> oh, do you want to half it? And then Should we half it? Yeah. yeah. Mine's this bit curvy. Oh, mine's a bit thicker. Right, okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> oh no, oh, where is it? I think I saw one. Did you? I think mine just won. That was mine. Mine's? Is that yours? Where's and mine? Yeah, yours is with it. But mine was the thicker one. Yeah, but it's like they're connected. Can you see? Yeah. Which one's the other one? Oh, there's a girl. I don't know. She, she called it. They My, kind of went together. Mine was the thicker one. I thought mine was at the front. She called it a drop. <laughs> they kind of stuck together, didn't they? I feel like they're going to hate us for calling it a draw. Know, it needs to be an, an out and out winner. Like this, they stuck together. Oh, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> this is the poo bridge. So first game of poo sticks. I won that one. Second one, I won. you won because my stick was too long, it kept mm -hmm. hitting the floor. And then I'm third nice. one, and then yeah, I hit you in the face <laughs> earlier. And then third one, you're calling it a draw because they stuck together. They stuck together. We dropped them separately, but then they stuck together. And we couldn't work out which one was which. Mm. So, However, if we're really draw. looking into it, it was my stick overall, so I win. No, because you <laughs> said you wanted to share the stick, otherwise I would have found my own. <laughs> Just so you're aware, as you walk to Pooh Bridge, it's all downhill. When you walk it up, <laughs> it's all uphill. <laughs> yeah, it got a bit of shade on us, but we have come to the next part of our poo journey. Um, We're at Gill's Lap Car Park now. Yes. So you come out of the Pooh Corner Car Park, you turn left, and then you turn right onto that road. Keep going up for about three minutes. All of the signs, though, are facing the opposite way yeah. to you. So. I actually missed it and had to turn around to come around. back. <laughs> um, but I'm going to pop the link to the blog that we're using um, in the description box because it actually is really helpful. It is. And it's helping us find like all the places because the forest is just huge. Like That's you wouldn't cool. be able to, I think you'd really struggle to find all the um, poo corner stuff if you um, didn't have this blog. So thank you to whoever wrote that blog and I will pop it down below. Anyway, let's go.
So we've got a map here. Uh, it's got pig. Oh, that was that was the That's first the car, car park we were in, yeah. Piglets. Who's walk there? You can see it. I think. Food like walk around. Eeyore's gloomy place. Is this this is the poo parking? So that's where we were earlier. Yeah. So if you parked at Piglets, you'd have to do a bit of walking to get there, wouldn't you? And we're here now. And we're here. And we're gonna do this walk, I think. Yeah, the short walk. Help me! I'm getting attacked by bugs. This one. Uh, this is Which way? Through the pine trees. This is Pooh's enchanted place. Is it? Ah. They say that nothing's impossible. But I do nothing every day. It's so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. I didn't even know this was around here. Makes you think of that scene in Christopher Robin where they sat on the bench. Yeah, looking overlooking down. everything. We don't think it's that way though. We think it's this way. We came through the trees and then we think it's that way. That's more like it over there. There's a bench overlooking that amazing view. They walked on thinking of this and that and by and by they came to an enchanted place on the very top of the forest called Galleon's Lap, which is 60 something trees in a circle. And Christopher Robin knew that it was enchanted because nobody had ever been able to count whether it was 63 or 64. Not even when he tied a piece of string around each tree after he had counted it. The house at Pooh Corner. Helton is going to count the trees to see if they are magical. Is it going to be 63 or 64? I just tripped over. <laughs> How many did you get? I lost count. <laughs> I'm going to go 64. Eeyore? Piglet? Anybody? <laughs> Crazy. Where is everyone? Oh, <laughs> this way, caught a heffalump. <laughs> I don't want to go down there. <laughs> don't try. Pooh's first idea was that they should dig a very deep pit and that the heffalump would come along and fall into the pit. Pooh rubbed his nose with his paw and said that the heffalump might be walking along, humming a little song and looking up at the sky, wondering if it would rain, and so he wouldn't see the very deep pit until he was halfway down and it would be too late. We're in, right. we're in a bad way here, guys. I think it is right. This is just all. <laughs> Backtrack about 10 metres, turn left. Okay. Follow it for 250 metres. Onward we go. But there's like these spiky bushes. It would be so bad if it wasn't so wet. Oh my gosh. I nearly lost me welly. <laughs> We're Beanie and Budge, last on an adventure. We're Beanie and Budge, skip out this last bit. on an adventure. <laughs> we found it. Oh, I did. That was right. We were just about to turn back around. <laughs> oh, yes. That was tough. <laughs> that was um, very soggy as well. Very soggy. Oh, look at that view. Wow. What a place to have a memorial. And by and by they came to an enchanted place on the very top of the forest called Galleon's Lap. So Helena's been saying, what did you say about this? This is where Christopher Robin's dad sat and then this is where Pooh Bear sat as well. So this is where they sit and they look out. <laughs> what is this? Rue's sand pit. So this is Baby Rue played happily in his sandy pit. It was the supposed site of Pooh's dark moment, the kidnapping of Rue, to force Kanga and Rue, the newcomers to the forest, to leave it forever. But as in all the best stories, it ended happily, except for Piglet, who had to take a bath. And he had never really been fond of taking those. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not as sandy as it once was. <laughs> So that's the short walk done, isn't that's it? That's the end of the short walk, but I think we might carry on for the longer one. Okay. See a few more, a few more sights. <laughs> so we crossed over the road, going through Car Quarry Car Park, and now we're over on the other side of the road. This is shaping up to be quite the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so it says the woodland on the far side of the valley appears as 500 acre wood on the Ordnance Survey map, but Pooh knew better. To him it was the 100 acre wood and it's mentioned in the story in which Eeyore loses a tail and Pooh finds one. 
when Pooh went to visit Al, whose house was in the wood, which we saw before. We did? Mm -hmm. So we've reached the valley bottom, which has a bridge and the site of the North Pole. It was Christopher Robin who had the idea of an expedition to discover the North Pole. Nobody was quite sure what it was, including Christopher Robin, who told Pooh that it was just a thing you discover. In Pooh's hands, or paws, it became an expedition, <laughs> and he spread the word. Led by Christopher Robin, a long line, including all Rabbit's friends and relations, started out. At the bottom of the valley, they came to a stream where Rue fell in. <laughs> Fortunately, Pooh discovered the North Pole <laughs> and used it to rescue Rue. And as the world knows, they stuck the pole in the ground and Christopher Robin tied a notice to it, which said, North Pole, discovered by Pooh, Pooh found it. So I might not look it on the camera, oh, but that was definitely the hardest that part of the walk. <laughs> that is long. <laughs> wow. It feels like there's no one anywhere. I know. I was saying, it seems like there's no, it seems like there'd be no people anywhere. So apparently Eeyore's gloomy place, rather boggy and sand, is somewhere in the valley, somewhere here, on the right. Even the grown-up Christopher Robin was not sure where it was. The gloomy place is where Eeyore lost his house. That's another story with a happy ending. <laughs> I can see a car park. <laughs> it's over there. The car park! Oh, I can't believe how far we've just walked. <laughs> we did all of that. All the way around. Literally. Whoa! I want to um, see how many miles that was. <laughs> yeah. It was hard though because it was steep. It was. So we're back in the car and in true poo style, I think we deserve a snack. Don't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that last bit of the walk was actually really tough. I think if you have children, definitely just do the shorter one. And then also, if you're up for like a big long walk, I'd suggest doing the longer one. But it was it was quite a tough walk, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that that second bit. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, we are very hungry, and I want a nice cup of tea. Definitely take a picnic with you. Yeah, take a picnic. We're gonna go to the Poo Corner Cafe and fingers crossed A, it's still open and B, there is space for us. Mm. So, let's go see. Here it is, Poo Corner. I've gone for the tuna melt. And then Winnie the Pooh over here has <laughs> gone for scones. Oh, I don't have them. Oh, no. In the honey jar. They're in the honey jar. We're in the shop and they've got Winnie the Pooh pop figures. We're looking through these books, but I've just spotted this. It's the little book of Poohisms. I think that's like quotes. Oh boy, it's good to be Aww. home. Yeah, it's all quotes. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. <laughs> this, this was the toy in 1948. They produced the Winnie the Pooh plush toys. His eyes are tiny. These were some of the first plush toys of them. <laughs> his body's massive and his legs are tiny. Oh, 
man. <laughs> Guys, I, I was filming some of the journey and then I put the camera down and then just as I put the camera down, we turned the corner. I'm not kidding. This huge deer, wasn't yeah, it? Was a deer. But I feel like he was quite young. He was very sprightly. Yeah. But bless him, he he like leapt across the, um, the road. road and it's like really country lanes around here. Luckily there was no cars behind us so we like slowed down, didn't we? Yeah. To let him pass. But he started running towards our towards car, the car. Towards the car. And I was like, he's going to jump like on, on the, the car. car. <laughs> yeah. um, but he like jumped. He <laughs> kind of side. like jumped over it, didn't he? Side. He like jumped to the side <laughs> and then carried on. But I mean, I really hope he's all right yeah, because this well. is like a long road and he was yeah. carrying on down the road. So I really hope that he doesn't get hit. Um, but like he was literally by this window yeah. um, and he, he kept leaping it was actually like really cool to see a deer up close to <laughs> like oh bless him though yeah. like i really hope he's all right but anyway we're on our way back home now um so yeah we'll check in with you uh when we get back and we're home I'm actually really tired. <laughs> I feel like we did a lot of walking today. We certainly um, did. It was so lovely though. Uh, we, you wanted to say something, what did you want to say? Just about when you're getting all this weird lighting. No, it's a bit. When you uh, get to the first uh, port of call, which is the Poo Car Park, it's really hidden away. Just double check where it is by looking at that blog that you uh, yeah suggested. i'm gonna pop down the blog that we followed and then we also followed i think it was like the official um ash down forest short walk route so i'm gonna put both those links below so that if you want to do it yourself oh look who's come to say hey did you enjoy your time now i did poo it was very nice it's, it's a lovely, lovely place you live it? yeah but you've retired here now i have Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching the vlog. Let us know in the comments if you've been or if you want to go. I'd highly recommend it. And yeah, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.